welcome to my show, folks. And we've got what? <laughs> it's, it's a nice one, too. All right. Got all again, but I got a piece of him. I got a piece of him. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Fish are a little bigger here. We're in Florida. You gotta watch yourself. Well, good morning, folks. We are doing something a little different today. We're in Florida. And we are along the Peace River. And uh, you can find fossils here. <laughs> so, we're gonna give it a whirl. We've been doing it for years. Might do a little fishing today too, but uh, right now water's pretty high, dirty. Fish don't like that around here, but uh, we'll see what we can find. So let's go at it. Come on along. Water's a little high, so. Thought we'd do some looking. My wife Kathy is with me. Getting ahead of me here to see if she can find some stuff. A little, little back shoot off of the river. See what we can find. You can find shark's teeth, you can find horse stuff, mastodon, mammoth. Sloths, <laughs> all kinds of critters. Kind of fun fishing for fossils. We haven't quite had to work this into a fishing show, but I guess we're gonna give it a whirl. All right, see if we can't find something. All right, I think I spotted something down here. I'm guessing you can't see it in here, but. Right here. Ooh, nice vertebra. Hmm, kind of looks like maybe a dolphin, maybe. Would have had more parts sticking out of it originally, but they broke off. So that's still pretty good shape for getting rattled around the creek. Set this over here on this log. I think I spotted something else down here too. See if we can get that so you can see it. Uh, right there. And that is, oh, that's the edge of a turtle shell. Pretty good. This is a fossilized turtle shell. Turtles were around with the dinosaurs and ever since then. We don't find any dinosaur stuff here, but everything from when it used to be flooded here and during the Ice Age when it used to be, Florida used to be twice as big. See what else we can find down here. Sometimes the water had been high, so sometimes it knocks stuff out of the bank and ends up in the river. See what else we can find. This is a piece of a dugon rib. Oh man, that's pretty cool. Pretty heavy bone, kind of busted off. But dugon was kind of like a manatee. They still got them in Australia. I've seen them on the TV. They're really heavy. If you find them, they're really dense. You going? Got these on the other side of the tree. Hey, you're hoarding in on my spot. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm <not. laughs> well, I want you to find stuff. I'm already finding stuff. 
Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Got something if you show okay, bring it over. Ooh. This is a piece of a sloth tooth. Dang, that's cool. There used to be sloths. She's about, I don't know, they've been about 10, 12 foot tall. Great I big things. What you got, Kat? I believe this is one of those ankle bones. Like the, the got a hold all still. Comes, a, comes in a different bone? shapes. and You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, yeah. Kathy found a, kind of like our wrists are now with a bunch of little bones in them. And this would be kind of in the knee of critters now, like uh, horses and llamas and, well, fossilized ones, anyway. <laughs> Those critters aren't around anymore. Soft shell turtle. Ooh. Ooh, nice, nice turtle shell. Oh, we're, we're doing all right back here. Turtle, dugong. Not sure what critter that one's off of. And a sloth tooth. That's that's uh, you don't find a whole lot of sloth teeth. That's a broken one, but that's pretty good. We just got started. Just got started. All right. What else we can find back here? We're in a little side chute. It's been flooded here, and stuff comes down these little side chutes and gets stuck. As the current's not as strong. These uh. The river and these side creeks, you can catch largemouth bass and you can catch uh, schnook that come up from the bay out of the ocean and uh, they come right up the river and into all these little side shoots and some of them are really big and they will bite a bass bait so we'll give that a whirl a little later but this is something I do with Kathy every year and it's kind of cool. And uh, if your family's not into fishing, maybe they're into finding fossils while you go fishing. So I thought I'd show you some of that. Neat adventure. Kind of a treasure hunt. Alrighty. That's our uh, <laughs> all-purpose boat for this trip canoe we can put a motor on it or we can paddle it got an electric motor and a gas motor mud skipper and then uh, that'll take us through real shallow waters and uh, found some more stuff down here i think I haven't picked it up yet but got the right shape if i can get the glare off here we are. Oh, oh, oh i didn't see that what is that Ooh, ooh, a bonus that's not what I was even talking about. This is a mastodon, a chunk of a mastodon tooth. A mastodon would have been kind of like an elephant. And mastodons chewed on leafy, woody, kind of had teeth that kind of looked like a mountain. Look at that, huh? Nice, nice. What you got? I think I got a piece of gator. Ooh, what's that, like a skull or something? Well, the inside of their bones are yeah, yeah. very whole. What else you got there? And I think this is a piece of mammoth tooth. Ooh, a mammoth and a mastodon. Man, we're rolling. See those white lines we there? Are rolling. Lines. See that? The mammoth tooth would have been for chewing on grass. And a mastodon tooth was for chewing on woody stuff. And then you can find big pieces of Look who knows at that. What. Ooh, yeah, that's a big critter. That's mm -hmm. a chunk of bone. Chunk of off stones. a very big critter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. In the dinosaur world, you call that chunk of source. Let's see. You can just imagine what critter that was. Now, if I had something else here, which is the original part, and I stopped here. Oh, 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 here it is. That's just the right shape to be. Yes, it is. It is a horse tooth, dear. Really? Yeah, like the end of a row. Oh man. Look at that. That's great. We're rolling. That's All kinds nice. of stuff. That's fine, I think. Look at that horse tooth and a mastodon tooth and a mammoth tooth. Well, chunks of them. Chunks. At least a horse tooth is a horse tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Rest of them are kind of pieces. So in places like this we just kinda of look these banks here will get eroded. 
And Florida is full of fossils. They get eroded out, fall in the creek, and then they're legal for us to come and pick up. Talk about that permit. Yeah, you need a $5 permit for this kind of stuff. Um, if you're just after shark's teeth, like megalodons and tigers and all that, and lemon sharks, then you don't need a permit at all. That's only five bucks. Uh -oh, that covers you for vertebrate fossils, they call it. And I'm sure they're talking about stuff that's more important than what I got in my hand, but... <laughs> If you want to be covered, because sometimes we find some really cool stuff. We have a saber cat tooth, and mammoth teeth, and mastodon teeth. The whole thing, not just the little chunks that I was just showing you. <laughs> but in spots like this, we just kind of look around. Once we get done looking around, we'll use a pan like this. You dig down into the sediment down on the bottom and then you sift it out and see what you can find which Kathy's already doing it now see here. you see what you can find anything a lot of times you don't find anything piece of turtle shell mm, turtle shell Oh, there's a shark's tooth. Oh, we are our first shark's tooth. Yeah. And you got to put that on my hand because you're not going to be able to see it in yours. There we go. And that's the and size you're going to find tooth. most likely. Yeah, mostly you're going to find this. It's like a lemon shark. His root's a little beat up. But we got our first shark's tooth. A lot of times when you find these vertebrate fossils, you don't find as many shark's teeth. And when you find this lot of shark's teeth, you don't find as many vertebrate fossils. I'm not sure exactly why that is, but but it's kind of cool. You never know what you're going to scoop up. And let me put this up on the tree. Our collection. Look at that. Oh, I put my stuff on the bank. We were having a heck of a time getting up the creek. There's a lot of trees down and... All and that I'm kind not of the stuff. best paddler. <laughs> well, you're a little rusty, that's all. We ain't been doing this for well, that's what you were saying nine back there. months. Nine months. Let's see here. We are still in the little side chute. Up of the Peace River. And I see something down here if I can get it so you can see it. On the tough because we're mucking up the water as we walk around, but I guess it should just pick it up before I forget where it is. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I got a meg, huh? Let's see. It's a megalodon shark. That's yep. a nice one. You got a nice megalodon. That's a nice one. And that's oh, about man. the size we get too. We're rolling. Yeah, that's not, not those really big. Not ones. huge. It can be as big as your hand, my hand here. <laughs> So this would be a uh, way back in the mouth or smaller yeah. or a younger one. That's nice. But that is really good shape. Where Usually they're kind of beat it, up. Please? Right there. You saw it or? Yeah. Yeah, I saw the root. Before I mucked up the water, I saw it. <laughs> when I was trying to film it, I couldn't see it. That is pretty cool. Now, you don't even need a permit to get these, as crazy as that sounds. <laughs> But I guess there was so many sharks, they don't figure it's that big a deal. So Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Cool beans. See what else we can find? And the sun's coming out. Look at this. Light up our little collection here. We've been at it for, I don't know, about an hour, I guess, between paddling and looking here. So this is really great. <laughs> Usually... You don't find all these different things at the same time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Got a meg tooth, a mastodon chunk, a mammoth chunk. It's right there, mammoth chunk, dugong, horse tooth, meg, dolphin vert, sloth tooth, turtle shell. That's the very edge of the turtle shell. 
And that is a soft shelled turtle, which are still around nowadays. And that's a piece of a joint, um, which would be like our wrist. All the little bones that go into a wrist of, oh, maybe something like a horse or a llama. Yeah, there used to be llamas here and camels. What you got? What you got? Cass got something. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> You're gone. Trying to show people what you got. You're gone. Ooh, another part of a meg. Look at that. They're this is usually split. what you get. Yeah, split. Good half. job, huh? This is usually <laughs> what you can expect to run across a meg. Because they bite, they break them while they're living and biting on stuff, and they get broke. Once they get knocked into the river, but I'm not sure which of them kind of looks like river damage there. But still, it's a meg. That's two megs. Gold beans. Put that up here in the collection. Sweet. And the sun seems to be coming out, so even better. A little windy and the water was high so we decided to come up this little side chute off the piece. Doing good. Looks like we made a good decision. Walk along here and see if we can't find us something else. You just kind of take your time and look. Really hard to show you that in this phone because it's not polarized. Getting a lot of reflection off the water. But we are doing exceptionally well if you're trying to gauge how you would do if you were looking. <laughs> this is like hit the jackpot morning so far. Some days you don't find much of anything because if somebody else already found it before you, then <laughs> it ain't there to find. Of course, we put back 95% of what we find. So. Ooh, Kathy's got something. What's Kathy got? Oh, hold still. What is that? It's turtle? a piece of turtle shell. Oh, that's a big turtle. Holy crap, it's hard to see it in your rubber glove. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's the edge of a turtle. That's, uh, that's right over the head, huh? Yeah, I know. It would have been nicer if it hadn't broke. Yeah, that's a big nice turtle. That'd be a, like the size of a trash can lid. Big turtle. That's something you can't expect to find a lot of is pieces of turtle. Something to be said for carrying your house around on your back. These guys are everywhere. Doesn't matter where we go fossil hunting. You can find turtles. Seems I got something down here. This is limestone down here. Florida is mostly limestone, which used to be the bottom of the ocean. It got hard, and now it's limestone, full of shells and all kinds of stuff. But we have something right here. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That is a ear bone to a whale. A little broke up, but... Be a little more of it on the side here like this. Yeah, it would have curled up. Yeah, it curled, so I think, they yeah. say it looks like an ear. Which yeah, is, it kind of does. That's yeah. what it is, an ear bone. Still identified. From a whale. And that came right off the limestone. What you got? I don't know. Gee, you don't know. Kind of looks like uh, flint. Or looks chert. Like something they would made tools out of. It looks like they whacked it too. This looks like Native Americans were whacking on it because there's a piece there, 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 off, there. That's not really a natural hit. So this is a piece of flint. We also find fossilized coral that they made tools out of. And uh, that's kind of cool. I don't know if you call that an artifact, but I do some flint napping and... Uh, that definitely got whacked by somebody. Testing it out, they probably just knocked this piece off a bigger piece and then kept whacking on that to try to make something. And, uh, cool. All kinds of cool stuff today. 
Well, kind of showing you all of this on a <laughs> fishing show, which I will try some fishing a little later. Because like I said, you might enjoy it when the fish aren't biting. You can find fossils, or maybe that's what your family's into, and they don't care about fishing at all. And you could be fishing while they're collecting stuff. I see people doing that all the time. Cool beans. I was just saying to my wife, Kathy, that uh, what we have had found this morning is pretty much uh, what we found on our first trip. We were here for about a week, never did it before, didn't know where to look. and Pretty much what we had, piece of mastodon, piece of mammoth, horse tooth. We had one mig tooth like that. Dolphin vertebra, pieces of turtle, pieces of joint bone. I don't think we found a sloth tooth then. That's pretty cool. I didn't know what it was. We, yeah, we wouldn't have known what it was. That happens a lot too. <laughs> but after you get the hang of these things and where to look, and like I said, do you get there before somebody else picks it up? <laughs> In our case, we advocate putting stuff back, so... Once we leave this on our table back at the campsite for people to see so they know what things look like, then we will throw it back in the river. Uh, I'll probably keep that Meg. <laughs> yeah, maybe that wheel here. Uh, but he's broke. If we find a nicer one, we'll get rid of that one. <laughs> maybe. Uh, pretty cool. Alright, get back at it. I got somebody else down here. If I can show you on the phone, he is kind of in plain sight. Looks like we walked right by him this morning. If I can figure out where that is in the phone. Uh, kind of tough with the reflection. Right there. Top of that limestone. Ooh, a tiger. This is a tiger shark. Nice one, too. Tiger sharks are still around, but this is a fossilized tiger shark. Tooth. Not much on a shark fossilizes, but the teeth do. Sometimes the vertebrates. And uh, most of a shark is cartilage. But, like I said, you don't even need a permit to get these guys. That is a tiger. Oh, beans. Alright, see what else we can find. What you got? Another little piece of mammoth. Cool. Piece of a mammoth tooth. Mm. He's Put out doing hand? some target shooting. Yeah, Put it in my hand. Uh -huh. there we are. This is another piece of a mammoth tooth. Very small side. Yeah, so I can focus on that. There we are. Yeah, it would have been really big. Uh, mm, some more like a foot across and foot deep. And this would be a little chunk of one. There's another little chunk of one. And she has another chunk. So once they get out in the creek and other things will run into them, they smash up into bits because they're like enamel kind of deal. We have a couple whole ones. or pretty, you know, pretty good chunks of them anyway. And uh, add to our collection here. Right. Somebody is target shooting. <laughs> Right. Cool beans. Yeah, it's decent. Yeah, it took us uh, probably 10 days to find that good of stuff the first time we came. If that gives you any idea what you're in for. <laughs> Take about 10 days to come up. And of course we had like hundreds of little tiny shark's teeth. But we don't seem to be in a spot for those yet. I'm sure we'll run into a spot later. Alright, let's see what else we can find. You can see Kathy is digging with her pan into the soil. And then she will sift it out. These pans are for cooking vegetables on your grill. Yeah, you can oh, get them. Another little shark's teeth. Yeah, let's see. Right on my hand here. Oh yeah, look at that. This is what you find lots of. <laughs> Lemon shark teeth. Why they call it a lemon shark beats me. 
pretty sure they don't eat lemons. But yeah, so this is what happens once she sifts. This now, pan, I don't know if that's a fish tooth. I don't know. You can't, you can't move it when I do it. There we are. And we put a little piece of hose on the side of that to make it more comfortable on your hands. So you can dig down in and sift. And you can get these at the Lowe's or any place like that that sells grilling stuff. It's for grilling vegetables. We have found most of our stuff with one of those little pans. Pretty simple deal. Some people just use spaghetti strainers and a little shovel. <laughs> and some people have fancier stuff, which we'll show you later. Alright. When you find gravel over here along the edge... You can kind of dig into it with your pan. And, uh, if I can do that one handed, huh? Oh, sort of. You can dig into it. I should put this camera on something to do this. And you get it in the water. Just shoot it in the water. And stick it in. Ooh, ooh, there's stuff in this stuff over here, huh? Yeah. Looks like we got a, maybe a Mako. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it looks like a Mako. A Mako, these are called extinct Mako sharks, and they think possibly these guys turned into great whites. <clears throat> and we have teeth like this that have serrations on them, and we have one that just has bumps on it, kind of in between this and the what would be called a great white now. That's a nice one. It's good shape, huh? I gotta come see. Good shape. What else we got here? Ooh, 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 ooh. We got something else. This is. Uh, let's see if I can get it in here. Oh, this is a deer tooth. Ooh. Same deer we have now. Back way back with the mammoths and the macedons. Same white tailed deer. And you gotta watch because you can find <laughs> teeth from these guys now. And uh, I'd bang this one on the pan. You can tell by the ding, but it might break it some more. It's all a little broke. It's a little bit broke. Pretty cool. And uh, what else we got in there? Ray plate. Oh, ray plate. That's a good one. This is something you find a lot of. It's just like from a stingray. Well, these guys would have been hooked together kind of like, uh, I don't know, kind of like a cracker that breaks apart. But they you know, in rows like that, one row after the next, and they would have ground stuff that they scooped up in their mouth down with this pleats and it's a piece of one this you can expect to find a lot of because it was great big plates that broke up into these little pieces there were stingrays eagle rays and there's more mm -hmm. but that, those okay. are the ones that are gotta say it louder huh uh, the, mm -hmm. there were stingrays there was eagle rays and there's other rays but i don't remember their names cool yeah yeah and we have books to figure these things out. What's and we have neighbor? some stuff that we still don't know what it is. <laughs> and that's some of my favorite stuff. The ones nobody seems to be able to tell us what it is we found. <laughs> uh, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So I should show this. And uh, stuff you can expect to find. You dig it up and then scoop it out. Uh, here's a piece of a tooth. <laughs> yeah. You can see that. That's a lot of what you normally find. That would be a really cool little mammal tooth. But he broke. But you can kind of see the enamel on that, I think. Away from there. That'd have been cool. What else 
we got. Because a lot of times you scoop and you don't find nothing. Which we've already done that quite a few times this morning. <laughs> already found quite a few things that aren't there. Oh, here's a little guy. A little shark's tooth. Guessing that's some kind of. I don't know what that is. Maybe a bull shark. Little teeth. Here is another piece of a mastodon tooth. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that is a really sorry little piece, but if you've never found one before, you'd be pretty dang excited to find that. So the bone. So anyway, yeah, actually that was a pretty good scoop. <laughs> You're thinking what? Pretty good scoop. Well, we have done exceptionally well this morning, folks, and you can't expect that to happen all the time. So, kind of like fishing. Sometimes you catch them, sometimes you don't. But uh, it's kind of fun. A little treasure hunt. Thought I'd show you about that. And, uh, you never know what you're going to scoop up. Right, get back in. Well, folks, I had a great day out here fossil hunting with my wife, Kat. Found lots of cool fossils. Hope you enjoyed that. Caught me a nice bass, but I thought I was videoing it, and once again, I weren't. Up. sorry about that you folks have a great day and thanks for coming and uh, if you get a chance give us a, a like and a subscribe and maybe a comment what do you think of us going fossil hunting and fishing in a canoe <laughs> we do a lot of that down here in florida so you want to see it don't want to see it think it's cool not let us know. The only way you know how to adjust this whole deal is with the comments and which videos you watch. Thanks again. Hey. I got a new trolling motor today, folks. A lot cuter than my other one, huh? <clears throat> Trying to catch her some dinner on the way out. Get your fish on this fishing show. <laughs> Had one pretty good hit. Way out here, but if you want big enough, or trying to do it by myself.